appear that Prince Harry's had a massive change of heart about this particular thing that irks him so much. So much so he's made TV documentaries about it, complained about it on television and any interview that he's allowed to waffle on about. So why is the big change of heart now come of place? And more importantly, is he truly playing with us? And making sure, of course, that, well, we buy into whatever narrative he's now decided he wants us to go down. It's a dangerous game. I would advise Prince Harry of this, seemingly because he won't win it. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Whatever you're doing. Yeah, you're all right. Not bad, thank you. Lovely to have your company, whatever. And welcome with an all brand new subscribers. It's you know, always lovely to say that genuinely, you know, and I'm so thrilled uh, that we get so many new chums on board. A lot of people will remember when we were a very small but prestigious group, I like to think, don't you think? Now we're just a larger group, but still prestigious, of course, and the best educated people in the internet today. Well, well, you are, I know. <laughs> yeah, there's no need to boast. Yes, I know. I can say, yes. These, you know, I, I, let's just share. Who's got a degree um, in, out there in the world? Have you, have you, did you get a degree? Did you go to university? Put your hand up. I can see you. Did you? Yeah, you see, this is it. We've got very educated people on this channel. They often think, why am I watching this? Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, you hear so many people now, don't you, talking about degrees and universities and stuff like that. And you think, right, you know, for some of us, we just had to get out there in the world of work and make do, didn't we? You're like me. Absolutely. This is the problem. Now, <laughs> let's get back to your royal story of the day. This happened the other day, right? And it's fascinating to think because, you know, whether you like them or not, you know, it's a kind of not a sort of thing we normally associate with the British royal family. Prince Harry basically going into a New York tattoo parlour. Not, of course, any New York tattoo parlour because it's a celebrity one, if there is such a thing, right? Basically, this guy has done lots of tattoos for famous people, Hollywood stars, stuff like that. Now, what's interesting here is Harry was, you know, allegedly caught off guard in a moment in New York. Now, let me just tell you what's fascinating here. They quickly got the guy on camera to say, you know, what did Prince Harry do? What sort of tattoo, if any, did he have? And very quickly, you know, he couldn't say anything, all of that. And you think, how kind? Well, not really, you see, because the particular individual himself will have signed an NDA and he won't be allowed to say what happened behind those closed doors. It doesn't really happen. Well, he can do if you're a celebrity, but then most celebrities just want to rush off to Instagram to show you what they've got inked, you know, to their many followers. Many even film the experience literally live. So it seems a strange one. So what's the story behind this? Well, desperation, really, you know, and that is truly the story. Well, he was in New York. Harry was able to meet with the tabloid end of the world, including Vanity Fair, People magazine and Town and Country magazine. These are all the sort of people that apparently he wants to keep away from. He and Meghan, you know, they want a grassroots journalist, not trashy tabloids. And of course, whether you like Vanity Fair, People, whatever, they're just glossy tabloid newspapers printing gossip. There's no two ways about it. And and that's the deal that now Harry spotted at this particular event has now done. He was more than happy to see them. So how did people know that he was going to the tattoo parlour? Well, let me tell you, everybody knew well in advance, at least 48 hours, because his security unit had already been there to the tattoo parlour. He knew what door he was going to, going to be coming in, what time he was going to be arriving. And then there was a tip off to the media. 100% tip off to the media. Don't bother trying to deny Prince Harry. We know it happened, right? Now, what's fascinating is why would he want to do this? Well, it's deflection. After a week of bad press for his wife, the former cable TV actress Meghan Markle, what better to get people talking about another topic? And perhaps a royal getting inked is something that you don't necessarily see every day. And that is truly the story behind this. Whether you want to believe Harry and Meghan detest the media that they talk about, oh, they may detest it, but because they're now just micro-celebrities, it's the thing that they have to do to live. Right, Prince Harry? They were shown in the very heart of London.